Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. In Okaloosa County, three of four 10th graders passed the FCAT reading test, making the county the best in the state. 84% of the district's 8th graders passed math. Kyla Hendricks, the chief officer of quality assurance with the district, credits a focus on putting the right teachers in the right classes. Some of our AP teachers are actually teaching that some of our students in greatest need in those subject areas. While Okaloosa is celebrating its successes, scores statewide fell flat. And while it's too late to improve these FCAT scores, it's not too late to stop the summer slide which is the period between now and the start of next school year where many students stop learning and some actually forget things they already know. The Okaloosa School District suggests summer reading to parents and posts math problems online. Take the pledge to read. First Lady Ann Scott released a list of books to encourage Florida students to read this summer. It definitely keeps kids from uh, uh, getting the summer slide. He kind of wobbles his mouth like a frog. Caleb Mackey is stopping the summer slide with hands-on learning. Monday, the second grader visited the Tallahassee Museum with his family. I've learned how it's like, how the pioneers used to live back then, and how small their houses was. But outside of summer school, much of what a student learns over the next three months will depend on the parents. If the students stay engaged, educators say it will be reflected in next year's FCAT scores. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.